Hi, good morning everyone. Or it might be evening when you're watching this or when you have time to sit down. It's uh, 10 a.m. Central Time right now on Thursday and not as sunny today here. We had rain last night, but it's feeling very much like spring. Wet, kind of cold, some days sunny, some days not, so that's, a, that's all a good sign. Time's passing. So we're, we are all still at home. Hopefully we're feeling healthy, we're feeling happy and content. I think we're moving into a new phase where there are people chomping at the bit to be out and about and back to everything as usual. And most of us are seeing that that's not gonna happen. There's going to be another new normal when we're out of our homes. So we're really just moving through what may end up being the most difficult part of this period of isolation. Uh, we've probably developed a feeling of uh, safety being in our own homes and not having to uh, deal with bunches of people, crowds of people, or situations where we're uncomfortable with other people's behavior. So as we begin to move out a little bit, keep your presence of mind, keep your own, uh, keep your own thoughts and your own ideas, uh, make sure they're informed with the, the right information, with the latest information from good sources that are reliable and uh, based on science and best practices and make your transition back if it's soon or if it's later uh, make it back with your own wisdom and insight coming into play but pay attention to what the best minds are telling us is safe and what's uh, going to be healthy for us and I think it's a particularly important time to work on the quality of being responsive but not reactive. So if we're just reacting to things, we can spend all day just reacting to uh, things that we probably shouldn't be paying attention to, right? So we need to be listening to the voices that we trust and that we think are, are uh, telling us things based on science and based on clear evidence, and we should be feeling our own, uh, in, our own wisdom inside, telling us things might be moving too quickly, maybe we need to be staying in longer. Uh, trust yourself, but let yourself be informed with the best medical and scientific information. And uh, spend this time that where we're still kind of safe in our cocoons working with your practice working with being non-reactive to things uh, working with being calm and clear and understanding yourself and just keep going inward going inward this has been a great time for silence and reflection for most of us So keep using that. Don't let that just be because we have been uh, cooped in that we were able to have a little bit more serenity and quiet in our lives. Let that continue. Think of the good things, the valuable things, and let those keep going. Let that move forward. Um, no, need to, no need to let go of the things that we've learned about ourselves. And we've probably all learned a little bit more about when we could, when how we react with fear. Uh, when we have fear in our lives, what are we? What is our tendency? And what have we learned about ourselves in terms of what we can move ahead with and cope with and and get with the program? And uh, we've probably seen a lot of beautiful qualities within ourselves that give us. A feeling of courage and optimism because we've done things that we may not have expected we could do of three months ago and we've had a little time to 
uh, slow down the pace of our lives and we've probably discovered things that we really want to hang on to and treasure from that time. So keep going. Don't give up. Most of us have learned during this period and we're still in this period. I don't want to be pushing us out the door either. But I think a lot of us have learned how much we need this quiet space in our lives, not 24 seven. But we've, we've discovered a lot of things for ourselves and we don't need to lose that. So that gives us uh, a taste of some of the, the powerful benefits. And if you had a good practice coming into this, I'm sure that that's, that's stayed with you and you've been able to handle things and uh, you've had a good experience because of that. And if you came into it unprepared with any kind of practice, any kind of spiritual practice, that may be something that you think, well, there might be a little bit more that I can do to, to build my inner resources and to build inner peace for myself something that doesn't uh, come and go based on based on consumerism or based on uh, a life of action and uh, movement and excitement so I think it I think we'll be looking back on this time of for our, of our country being a really important time for us and uh, probably all have had lessons in it not necessarily sweet lessons, but lessons that have given us something that we needed. So let's sit and uh, just enjoy being together and enjoy being with ourselves. So gently close your eyes. Be in a relaxed position, but let your spine be straight. If you're lying down, the floor might be comfortable for you or a yoga mat or if your bed is really firm, that can work. If it's nice and soft, probably need a firmer spot to be really comfortable. Sitting upright in a chair, you can be standing. Be with your breath now, just to come to the present moment. If you've been busy and active, sit with your breath and let it, let it, uh, you can have deeper breaths, but let them be calming breaths. Feel your in-breath, feel your out-breath. Put your hand on your belly if you want to feel it in your belly. That's an easier sensation to, to, to have. Or you can feel it around your nostrils. It's very subtle there. But you can feel it. And stay with that. If we get caught up in our thoughts now while we're trying to meditate, we aren't staying with our breath. We're chasing out after those thoughts. We have to chase them because we have the thoughts and if we don't just let them subside on their own or dissipate on their own, then we have to chase them because new thoughts are coming out all the time. So we're gonna jump from one thought to the other and just be get working our mind uh, to become tired 
chasing after those thoughts. That's what we call monkey mind, jumping. Our mind likes to jump from one thing to another. And for most of us, it's usually when we begin to sit in meditation that we begin to see that and see how powerful that monkey mind is. And sometimes we just have to sit and watch it because we can't control it. And I think we have to watch it until we're tired of it, until we recognize that's not who I am, it's this monkey mind. I don't want to be that. Just watch and see how your mind works. We're never controlling our minds, but we're, we're wanting to work with them to find a way to be able to be free of, of the control of our minds and to have our own discernment of what we're thinking, what we put our attention on. Now your breath should be a bit more relaxed now instead of the consciously deep breathing each breath. Just relax into your normal breath. Let your entire body relax. Hands in your lap. They can be palms up or palms down. Our body isn't relaxed we will if it's if it's stressed if it's in pain the tendency will be for us to focus our attention on that instead of on our breath or anything else so if we can eliminate that tightness or tension in our bodies That helps us. Sometimes when we're working with pain, we know that we can't get rid of that pain. And if it's a chronic pain, sometimes we can use that as the object of our attention. And just be with that pain, just allowing it We can begin to break it down and see exactly how it feels, exactly where it is, what it is and what it isn't. And sometimes that can help us help us to actually be more calm and be more aware that we aren't constantly in pain, but it might be throbbing or uh, intermittent. It may not be exactly what we think it is. The same way we pay attention to our body, if we're doing a body scan, when we hit those spots where we feel pain or tightness or tension, we can imagine we're breathing into that spot 
and just releasing on the exhale. And that release can help soften the tension in that area and it can help release pain. If you have a headache or if you have a recurrent pain, when you sit you can try doing that. Let the focus of your attention be that spot of pain and just breathe. And just break that pain down into little parts. Really see where is the pain. Be able to describe the pain. Feel yourself breathing into it to just let it open and relax. Sometimes the, the muscles, as particularly with a headache, say, Breathing with it and opening that spot up can be very helpful. And so if you're not dealing with a specific pain area, just be with your breath. Today, let's begin with loving kindness. So feel those thoughts, those kind, loving thoughts towards yourselves. But take a few minutes just to be with yourself. Send yourself thoughts that you need to, to hear. May I feel well and may I feel safe. May I be free from fear and worry and anxiety. May I be content with today and with what, what lies ahead. May I feel at peace. And send those good thoughts to yourself like a blessing. These are blessings to yourself, good wishes. What this practice is doing also is letting our minds just get rid of negative thinking. We're focusing on these beautiful feelings that we'd like to have, that we'd like to move through our day experiencing. Letting go of judging ourselves, criticizing ourselves for thinking a certain way or feeling a certain way. And we need to let go of all of that. But we begin to let go of it by being able to present these beautiful qualities to ourselves and accept that as our, that this is something for us too. This is our 
privilege to be able to feel safe, to feel at peace, because all of these are qualities we develop within us. We don't feel like the privilege is just out there somewhere waiting for us. These are things we develop inch by inch, day by day, minute by minute. Feel worthy, feel good about yourself. May I be well, may I be content and feel safe. May I be filled with peace. Now send those same thoughts out to your loved ones. May all of my loved ones feel well. May they feel safe. May they be free from fear and worry and anxiety. May they be content. And may they be experiencing peace, both within and without. Now let's move to a bigger group instead of a smaller community we're part of. Today let's think about everyone in the state everyone in the state you live in. So of course, there are a lot of strangers, lots of difficult people, lots of challenging people. You have lots of acquaintances, and you have close friends and loved ones and probably some family or an extended family of your close friends. So our state, and especially right now when, we're, when the government's telling us it's all on us, it's all on us states, we're making, the, we're making the big decisions now. So being part of a state takes on a little bit different meaning today. But think of your state. Maybe you've never thought about yourself that way, as this, this is a community. Maybe you feel like your uh, community is the world. But for today, think of everyone within your state borders. And we know there are all kinds of every single type of person we would ever meet. So we're covering, this is like covering the world in a sense. And send the same loving kindness, the same goodwill to all of these people, people you've never met, people you would never like, people you feel, even if you see them on the news, you, they're a difficult person for you. Or they may be on the news and you've come to really uh, appreciate their wisdom and their good advice. So you may have made some new friends just because of the, your focus on the news during this virus. Think of all of these people and all of the creatures within your state, all of the animals, the wild animals, the domesticated animals, the families on farms and the families in, the, in alleys, all the creatures that live in this state, some being cared for very well and others struggling just to make it through another day. And all of the people exactly the same. 
some struggling. Everything is a struggle about this containment, this isolation. And for others, it's maybe just been a, a welcome a welcome break, a welcome intermission from life as we knew it. But the range is everything. The range range is from zero to 360. So this is the group that we're sending out this is our community for today. So let's send out these thoughts. May everyone and every living being in my state be well. May they feel safe, free from fear and worry and anxiety, free from hunger and thirst, and free from extreme weather. May everyone living in this state be able to care for themselves or be well cared for. And may everyone know peace. And then just keep radiating the same quality out. Now your state feels like, well, you can see your connections with everyone in your state, right? And just keep radiating that out. See your connections with all living beings, beings who are human and non-human, beings we see, beings that are invisible to us, all beings being born and all beings dying, send out this pure goodwill. Let go of negative ideas about different people and different kinds of uh, cultures and different values and different ideas and different religions and different races. Just let go of the differences and see the similarities. And may all living beings be well, happy, content, safe, and may all beings live in peace. And that peace begins within each one of us. Thank you very much. Thank you for the privilege of spending this time with you and bringing, bringing a moment of calmness, I hope, into your day. It's always wonderful to, to sit with you. And remember, if you want to, if you have questions, uh, put them on Facebook as comments, and I will be soon, soon, I'm not going to tell you a date, but soon I'll be having some different things to post. But please have a beautiful day, and carry, your, carry these beautiful qualities of calm and responsiveness rather than reactiveness with you all day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.